Hello. In this tutorial we will show you, how to index a list of terms in a book, while excluding those terms for all footnotes. So, if the index term is found in the body text of the book, then we need to index it, but if the index term is found in the footnotes, then we want to ask the program to ignore it, as we don't want to index any footnotes. We will index this 354 pages book for this tutorial. This book recites the life of the Scottish scientist, James Clerk Maxwell. We will just index this book looking for his name. Let's check this name in the book using Adobe Reader. The name is found 31 times in the book. Most times it appears in the body text of the book. But for some pages, it appears in the footnotes section. Here in page number 3 it appears in the footnotes section only. We want to make sure the program won't index this name for such page, and for any other footnotes. We will start by indexing this name normally using the include category feature, to be sure that it already locates it on page number 3. Here is our program. We have already selected the book that we want to index, and we're ready to go. Click Tools, Settings, Include, Exclude Words, Include Words. Click Add Category to define a new list of terms to include. We will rename this category, Names Category. Then we will add the name James Clerk Maxwell here. And we will save this category. Click OK. Let's move to step 2 by clicking Next. Enable the option, Index Specific Words in the Book. Click the Include Words link. Enable the Names category that we've just created to use it. Be sure to enable the checkbox Index Those Words Only. Now the program should index the name in this Include category only, and ignore any other terms in the book. Click OK to save. Click Generate Index. Done. The program has found the name James Clerk Maxwell 31 times. It has found it in page 3 successfully. This is the footnote entry that we want to exclude. To do that we will go back to step 2. Click Tools, Settings, Include, Exclude Words, Include Words. Select the Names category, and click Edit. Now, to ask the program to ignore any footnote occurrences for this name we will use the feature called, the Font Format feature. It can be accessed by clicking this button. Here you can ask the program to index the terms of this include category. If they have a specific font in the book, we can use this to exclude the footnotes. To explain this let's open our book using Adobe Acrobat. We will move to page 3 where the footnote reference of our name exists. We will step on the name to check its font. It uses a Times New Roman font type, of size 9.12. While the font of the body content of the book uses Times New Roman font type, of size 12. So if we go back to the program, we can command it to index the terms of our include category, if the font size is from 10 to Let's say, 50. That way we'll be sure that the program will exclude the footnote occurrences, as their font size is less than 10. Click Save to save the font format. Click Save to save the include category. Then OK. And let's generate the index once again to see the results. Done.
It appears now that the name has been found 27 times only instead of 31 times. Page 3 is not mentioned here as expected, as it was a footnote entry with font size less than 10. It also appears that other footnote occurrences were excluded too for this name. That was a small example, but you can follow the same steps to ignore indexing all footnotes in your book, while indexing one or more include category. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.